Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I um, started something a little bit different today. Today I wanted to play with a mouse trap. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I've never seen the quite the right um, traps. They always had little pieces of plastic on it I did not like. This time I found something I liked and I thought I'd buy it. It was only $1.50 and I'd pick it up and make a few pieces to use up some ends, bits and bobs that I have lying around that I need to use up. So I thought this would be perfect to add a nice big st strip of magnet on the back and put it on my fridge, or gift it to somebody, put it on the fridge and um, make a few of them. And you can have photos on here, you can have letters, shopping list, all that kind of th stuff and have your mixed media art on there. And I thought that was pretty cool. Today I decided to um, just paint it and ink it up with some stepping up inks because I was trying to use things up today and I've been trying to just use my inks as much as possible. Um, you could put paper, you can paint these things. I'm probably going to paint another one, do something different with each one. I don't know, but I had fun with this. So I put a few layers of um, gesso on these to start to cover up my little mouse picture. and. Then I just went and inked away with my um, Stampin' Up! inks. I thought I would use a stencil from Deco Art and just put it in. I didn't know what's going to be covered, what's going to be seen. I'm just playing with it, seeing what I can do. And of course it was all covered, but hey, I had fun doing it. So I used this stencil. I used a little bit of an, an orangey color that, that kind of I thought was orangey. It was like a, a camo coral. These colors are all very old and I don't think the Stampin' Up! Um, carries them anymore. But that's the color. And then the other one was chocolate chip. I also used archival ink just from the edges at the end. But I thought that this was, you know, fun to play with as I'm going along. Um, I knew I was going to glue things to it, but I didn't know how much it was going to be showing, what I'm going to do. It was kind of something you can't predict at this time. Here, of course, I'm using water and I'm spraying, making drips, adding more ink, just trying to get some brown drips. Still, like I said, don't know what's going to show through, but I'm having fun with the process and seeing how things move and, and that kind of thing. I added some glitter after I sprayed it with some sealer just to get so then it wasn't moving anymore and I can stick that glitter on here. I literally grabbed a handful of stuff and put it on my table and that's I'm like that's the pile I'm using. Whatever I want to use it's coming out of there. 
and it was in my jar of just stuff I've had forever and that's what I decided to do. I'm going to use this up and I'm going to keep doing this with little projects until it's used. So I decided right off the bat that I was going to use this orange flower and whatever else that was in my jar of handful of stuff. So I'm looking at all the stuff and just collecting what I need, um, what will fit on there pretty good. So I've got a couple of things. I'm going to like use my tools to work it to make it work for my what I need. Flatten out one end there so I can glue my flower in. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just using hot glue here. Here's pieces of old little um, cards that I had. Those like little party things that you put when you have like a little poker party or something all over the tables. That's probably from the party store. A stamp, a Canadian stamp, a little piece of lace. These are things I totally had in this jar. I finally cleaned up all the stuff and stuck in one type of cookie jar and um, I just put my hands in there and grabbed a little paper clip uh, actually a clothespin, mini clothespin this is of course a spool, uh, I think it's called spool um, the ones that go in the machine, it's an old one and I just kind of pull the threads out make it all messy and glue that in my cap and now I'm just putting it together. I've got another um, clothespin there to help back that up so it does not wobbly. And I'm just having so much fun. I have a spring over there that's probably from a pen or something. Um, another piece of card just to like to get in there. I am having so much fun with this. I'm using little um, like uh, baby breath type of things or twigs or whatever they are, dried up pieces to put in there. And I had so much that that's that that I had so much fun with this and it didn't take very long just to use up some of my things. And this is pretty much it guys. This is an end piece of burlap that I've been saving to add to something. So I just put all these back into my jar, my little cookie jar, and I'm going to grab them next time I need a handful of stuff. And this was easy to use up a bunch of bits and ends um, for something to hold a picture, letter, you put it on your fridge. It's really cute. You can do steampunk, you can do um, vintage, you can do lacy, whatever. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I hope you guys give it a try to use up some of your bits and bobs stuff and uh, make something really cool. And hey, a lot of those, like my girls have those uh, automatic picture camera things that the pictures come out. And they're going to love this to hang up their little favorite pictures up. I will talk to you all soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys all think. Thanks guys for watching.